Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How's it going? I am Paddy Jack. Welcome back to Smorsh's Guide to Skyrim. Took me a second there. I kind of forgot what I was doing. Anyways, um, you might be wondering, where has Smorsh been? Why is he turning up naked all of a sudden? All of these I have some of the answers to, and uh, the most glaring one as to where he's been... I mean, they kind of go hand in hand, to be honest. Now, Smorge went on vacation for a little while, and uh, he just got back. Now, where does a weird-ass, bleeding-faced orc go on vacation to? Obviously, he went down to um one of one of the one of the Oblivion realms. He usually likes to go down there, see some of his uh his distant cousins and things like that. So we're back now. And we're going to, you know, what was I going to do? Someone left a comment in the last one asking me to, uh, eh, what was it? Oh god, I freaking get married! That's what I was supposed to do, okay. So in this episode of Smorsh's Guide to Skyrim, we're going to go get married. This might, have been, this might end up being a two-parter. I just, I have that feeling. It, it could be a thing that happens. Right, Mr. Guard, dude? Dude man, bro? Yeah, I'm pretty tired. Uh, alright, so we need to go get married somehow. Can I marry this lady? Let's find out. Yeah, well, you don't control my life, lady. Okay, so, uh, excuse me. How's it going? Um, I... I don't know. I, I have no idea what this means. Um, I could pay her 69 septums to get her to relax. I'm gonna see how what happens if I do that. How can I argue with that? Oh, totally, right? D did I just get laid? Did I? Oh man, I think some naughty stuff is going down right now. Oh hell yeah! Right here too, right here in front of like the guards and the yarl, dude. That's that's amazing. I can't move my mouse at all. Okay, well, something just happened. I don't know if I got laid or... Huh. Alright. I might have just been fondled without my express consent. We're gonna go over to Riften then. We're gonna go get married to someone. First of all though, we obviously have to get an amulet of Mara. It's gonna affect me, man. Oh man. Well, we're halfway there. We got laid. But we need to get married before we truly get laid, you know? That's that's how it works with good Christian families that Smorch is obviously from. So that's got to be a thing that happens. So we're going to have to get over to Riften somehow. I'm a little bit hungry right now. I should probably deal with that somehow. Baked potatoes sounds like a good meal. I'm feeling a bit fatigued. That's pretty dumb. Uh, I'll eat this. I'll drink this wine as well. Can I? Okay, there we go. I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling fine. It ain't a guide with Smorch until he's, well, Smorched. Or sloshed, I usually like to use the word sloshed, but, you know, to each their own. I feel like you're gonna try to touch me, too, that's weird. Alright, off to Rift and we go, then. Nothing, you can't- what were you doing, lady? Look, girl! The balls were you- I don't even care. I don't even care anymore! This place is weird, man. This is some weird stuff going on around here, and I just do not have time for any of it. Right? Whatever your face is, I don't even know what your face is. I always forget your name. You got a weird name, lady. Get out of here. Frickin' white run. Thinks it's the center of the universe. Once it's the center of one province. A province that's like 90% composed of bandits. Get jerks. Awful freaking people. Okay, we need to go find the... Well, we don't have to find it. We need to walk over to the carriage. I kind of thought I left the mount mod on. So there would be like a xenomorph there or something. Is it Xenomorph or Xenomorph? I never figured it out, and whatever. Bro, what is with your hair to skin color difference? That looks really weird. You gotta lay off the spray tan, man. Looking like a pro wrestler. Uh, alright, let's go. I need to go to Riften, please, good sir. Oh, baller. Holler, holler, get baller dollars. Let's do this. Oh, I can go to the other metery and rob that one, too. Oh, that'll be an episode. Totally. Can't wait for that. Alright, so we gotta go get ourselves a wedding amulet. And get the blessing to be able to get married, or whatever that is. 
I feel rested, so that's pretty good. Uh, it's it's the middle of the night though. I should probably go find something to eat. Before I let you uh oh. Them, you need to pay the visitors tax. Uh oh. Um, what what tax do you doth speak of, good sir? It matters because I have no idea. Um, I'm gonna kill you. I think you'd be a little smarter than that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, he's not gonna attack me. That's fine. Um, well, I might be smart, but you're not. Right. Keep your voice down. Yeah, I don't want to get into any Everyone arguments. I will let you in. Just let me unlock the gate. Damn straight, mofo. Look at this guy. He's so on board. Are you having a heart attack? Take my advice. You're like Kali Mine yourself. Yeah, sure, whatever. You're weird, bro. I don't know how that guy did that. Maybe he's just warming his hands in his pocket, fondling his nipple. I feel like that's probably what was happening. Alright. We gotta go find the Oh, get out of here! Mall! Dude, I thought you got your freaking torso cut off. You've thrown down like a, a thing. You also look totally different in Star Wars. Man, get out of here. Get out of here. I ain't scared of some tor no torso person. That's the wrong answer. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it is. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. I'm Maul, and I couldn't even defeat little itty bitty Obi Wan Kenobi. I killed his grandpa master, though. I'm so cool. Came back with some damn spider legs. That was the thing that happened. I think I might have spoiled the Clone Wars for someone. I I apologize if I did that. Oh my god, ow! For some reason, I just got a bad itch in my ear. And then I got really scared that there was like a spider in my headset. And I probably scared everyone else of that forever and always now. Okay. I need to go find Marmal. What's his name? Marmal! Marmalade! Where are ya? Come on, Marmalade. You gotta be in here somewhere. He might be down at the, um, the inn, if I recall correctly, or whatever. Well, we got some, we got stuff we can take in here. There's actually lots of alcoholic beverages and stuff, so we will be taking those, obviously. Oh, what else? A broom? We don't need that. We don't need no brooms. I don't need no brooms. Need amethyst, though. Need some septums. A, a snow fox pelt? No. No. That's too close to clothing. Don't need any of that. Uh, Nord mead, though. Mmm, give me some of that. Some of the Alto wine. Some regular wine, too. Not quite as good. Obviously taking the cheese wheels. Those have to be a thing. There we go. We got breakfast, then. And lunch and dinner. It's gonna be all cheese. We actually need to eat some of that, too. We'll eat a carrot first, though, to be healthy. Then we eat one of them. There we go. Oh, look at that. Feeling good now. Alright, we gotta drink some wine. There we go. Still not sated? Are you kidding? Come on! Seriously, how much alcohol do I have to drink to be say Okay, I'm, I'm good. I'm hydrated. We're fine. We're fine, Zs. It's cool, Zs, everyone. Settle down. Huh. I'm not getting drunk. Why is he not getting drunk? Normally when I drink like that, everything goes fuzzy. I'm building up an immunity! That's kind of scary. Because I'm using the same mod. That's weird, man. Whatever. Uh, okay. Uh, yo. Something you see every day. Yeah, absolutely. Where's Where's Marmalade? Where is he? For realsies. For reals, where are you hiding him? I know you're hiding him from me. You also hiding more cheese wheels. Take those and some more wine. Argonian ceremony. What does that say? I was wondering if you could speak to Marmalade about perhaps residing over a marriage at ceremony for myself and Kirava. She's the love of my life, and I wish to be with her forever, but only if we can be wed in traditional Argonian fashion. We should go kill one of them. That'd be a great wedding present. <laughs> That's sadistic. All right. Let's go find Marmalade. I guarantee you he's down at the tavern. Being all like, you shouldn't partake in alcoholic beverages, even though we have copious amounts of them in our own sure. temple. It's totally what's happening. Yep, there he is, freaking marmalade. Yeah, sure I am. No, I'm not. Get out of here. Get out of here, mate. Really? Because it seems like you can't. You're still here. 
Okay. Embrace the teachings of you the must either be crazy of Kai. or supremely confident to go walking around with no clothes on. I have, it is definitely both. I am extremely insane and extremely confident because of it. So have fun with that. Um, sure, that's great. Marmalade, dude, just the man I wanted to see. Absolutely. Um, do you accept? Okay, I wanted to know more about the Temple of Mara. Wonderful. Where to begin? Um. Mara is the goddess of love. Oh, absolutely. The temple spreads her gifts by tending to the sick. Yeah. And the lost. All the things I hate. We also perform wedding ceremonies for all the loving couples in Skyrim. Weddings, you say? I can have a wedding at the temple? Yes, if you were ready, of course. Are you familiar with how marriage works in Skyrim? I mean, you smack someone in the head and drag them over to the temple, right? So, yeah. Typically, love in Skyrim is as earnest as the people who live here. Life is hard and short, so there's little room for long courtship. That sounds like my sex life, too. Looking for a spouse simply wears an amulet of Mara about the neck, showing they are available. Absolutely. When another person shows interest and the two agree to be together, mm -hmm. one of them comes to the temple and we arrange a ceremony. Well, that sounds really dumb. I'm gonna buy an amulet from you, bro. You seem like a good dude. I'm sorry, but even Mara's temple needs coin. Oh, I don't have enough money. We'll have a symbol ready for you when you come back with enough gold. Oh, I have to get money now? Are you kidding? Very you well, Talon. Or what? Yeah, I need some money. How much money do I have? I have a hundred. I only need thirty gold. Okay, I'm gonna go sell these potions or something. There we go. Awesome. And now he's leaving. Are you joking me, Marvel? Marmal! Marmalade! Stupid freaking marmalade. I gotta get, like, 30 gold somehow. Oh, thank you, guy who just congratulated me on 10,000 subscribers. I don't remember who you are in my friends list. I don't know if you're someone who changed their name or something, but thank you nonetheless. <laughs> I need to turn those off before I do these videos, man. Okay, we gotta get 30 gold. I think I can sell something for 30 gold. Alcohol, not selling, out of the question. But... Oh, is it, is it past sellable times? Come Damn it! Life just got a lot harder. Okay, we may have to resort to some uh, unlawful tactics here. Maybe I can pickpocket 30 gold. It's it's possible, right? All right, here we go. Um, Hi, Aaron. Dude, how's it going, bro? Please don't stare at me. Uh, you have 40 septums. I have a 47% chance to take that. Can I do it? Oh, man. It's, it's a risk. Oh, I got it. Yes. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right, we got enough. Marmalade. Marmalade, get back here. Where are you, Marmalade? Wait. Oh, yeah, I do. Okay, sorry. I thought my carry weight was my gold, and I was like, I had more than 200 gold, but no. Nope. Okay, Marmalade, bro. Paddington has come to see you. I don't know if anyone's gonna get that reference or if that makes any sense, but I'm here for you anyways. I, you, I need an amulet of Mara. Here you are. Nice. Now, remember, people in Skyrim respond to deeds. You will find more people interested in your love if you help them. Oh, that sounds awesome. Mara bless you. Awesome, dude. Okay, here we go. You return to her benevolence and safety. Abso positively. Okay, here we go. I gotta go do some good deeds now. So that's gonna be a thing. Alright, well. This was part one in how to get married in Skyrim. We've acquired the Amulet of Mara. And in the next part, we're going to go do some good deeds to woo some ladies. That's what's going to happen. Who should I woo? Let me know in the comments. And then that's how we'll go from here. I am Patty Jack. This is Smorsh. And this is Smorsh's Guide to Skyrim. Have a wonderful day.